Garibaldi Honda Esther once again. Tommy Searle, will he do it now? Here he goes. Takes the throw! Oh, we can see it happening. He goes down on the left side. Hurlings, well, I'm not going to say anything, but Hurlings picks himself up. He doesn't lose any positions, but it was coming. We knew it was going to come down to that. And uh, Tommy Searle has been working it, working it. He's put himself in a position to uh, get up the inside. And obviously, Hurlings had nowhere to go. And we'll see that from all kinds of angles, the onboard and the image we just saw. What will that do to Hurling's confidence? How is he going to be feeling now? Because, uh, well, left-hand turn, down on the left ribs. Maybe not going to be feeling too good, uh, Jeffrey Hurlings, but Tommy Sell, he won't care too much about that. He'll focus now on going after Jeremy Van Horbeek and trying to do something about closing down that 5.2 seconds. And remember... Hurlings now 13.2 down. Just watch this. Turns left, goes up the inside. Nothing wrong with that. And connects with Hurlings perfectly. Sends him down to the ground. Just look at it from here. He tried to defend the inside. Didn't realise that Tommy Searle was coming through. Hurlings would have done this exactly the same thing, so he can't moan about that. Tommy Searle, though, puts himself in a great position to go after Jeremy Van Horbeek. That gap last time around, 5.2 seconds. Van Horbeek was the faster of the two riders, a 150.3. Tommy Searle, 152.0. The main thing is, though, from Tommy Searle's point of view, Jeffrey Hurlings, 13 seconds down on the leader. Eight seconds down on Tommy Searle. So when it comes down to it, I'm guessing what we're going to be looking at is Tommy Searle going for the win.